It's empty. Mm -hmm. Feel the emptiness. Mm -hmm. What is this place? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I cannot see anything. All right. So I want you to feel this place. I want you to feel this place and tell me this empty place. Is it indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Outdoors. Very good. So I want you to begin to connect with your other senses, not your eyes. Feeling. I feel really hot. I feel really hot. Mm -hmm. Like I'm flying. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Just hot. Mm -hmm. Notice what type of body is feeling hot. I don't have a body. Mm. So if you don't have a body, I want you to understand where this heat is coming from. What is causing you to feel hot? Use all of your senses. Just like a ball. Mm -hmm. Fire. You feel like a ball? Mm hmm. What do you notice around this ball? Like a comet or mm -hmm. like a it's with fire. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as you're feeling this, this heat, this movement, what are you thinking about? What thoughts? Where is my body? Mm -hmm. What are you feeling as you're moving through? Getting colder. Mm -hmm. Like I feel a body, but I cannot see it. Mm -hmm. I feel like heat. You feel like heat. Very good. So let's see where it is that this heat goes. I want you to find your destination of where it is that you do go. I fell from the sky. I'm back on the beach. Mm -hmm. I like it here. Mm -hmm. Notice what the beach does for you. Oh, I feel so happy. Mm -hmm. It's like my own. Yes. And the sand, the water, mm -hmm. and the sun. Oh, my God. So notice where this beach is. What is this place? First thing that comes to my mind is Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And notice while you're on this beach, if you have a body now. I feel happy. Mm -hmm. I'm alone. Notice if you could move. Can you move around in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so light. so light. I'm so light. So I'd like for you to look down at what would be your feet on this beach. What do you look like? What does this light body look like? A child. Mm -hmm. A girl. A girl. Tell me more. I have a long Dark hair. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah, I'm wearing some dress, lion dress. Mm -hmm. And I'm dancing. 
Wonderful. How old are you there? 12. Mm -hmm. Notice how you're dancing. I'm celebrating something. It's mm -hmm. like a ritual, ritual yeah. dancing. Mm -hmm. I have something in my hair, like a, I don't know, flowers. Yes. I don't know. I'm just happy. Mm -hmm. Something, something beautiful happened before. Very good. So let's find out what this beautiful thing that happened is all about. I want you to close the scene. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, we'll be at that moment that you're so happy about. Three, two, and one. You're there now. What's happening? Tribe. Mm -hmm. We are sitting with a fire. Yes. I'm getting married. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to question it. Just know it. Notice I see an elderly woman. Mm -hmm. Like a big elderly woman. She's like the big mama. Mm -hmm. And other people, but she's so dominant. Mm -hmm. And we are singing and dancing. We are all happy. Wonderful. Look around to your tribes, people. And look into their eyes and notice if you recognize any of those eyes in the lifetime of Martina. The big mama. Mm -hmm. Who is the big mama? My grandfather. Mm -hmm. So take a moment now to just let that sink in and feel. She is so protective toward everybody. Mm -hmm. Her love is so powerful. What do you call this big mama? Is that what you call her? Big mama. Mm -hmm. Is she your mama or is she the tribe's mama? Grandmother. Mm. Very good. So notice the occasion. What's the importance of this occasion? Someone is getting married. Mm -hmm. Or giving a word or something. Yes. Maybe it's not me. You'll know. No, it's not me. Mm -hmm. I'm just like running around in circles and dancing like a free, free spirit. I want you to feel that, that happiness, that freedom. Oh, it's so beautiful in the water. Mm -hmm. It's warm. What Everybody do is dressed with white and mm -hmm. and like a tree prints on, on on their clothing. Tree prints on the clothing. Yeah, like a ceremony. Is this how you're dressed too? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm skinny. 
What do they call you there? Mina. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Mina, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Very good. So Mina, let's see what happens next. I want you to close the scene and let's go to the next important scene of that life to understand what it's, how it's affecting you. Three, two, and one. Where are you now? I see like a fire. Mm -hmm. We are not affected, but I see like the, the trees are fire. What's happening? We are waiting to see mm -hmm. what happens. But the, like the woods is on fire. A volcano? Mm -hmm. Volcano? A volcano has erupted? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So connect with your emotions. What do you feel? when you see this? Confused. Mm -hmm. And it comes toward us. We are by the beach. I need to go. Big mama is with me. Mm -hmm. I feel safe. Oh coming toward the water. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Big mama cannot run. She's big. <laughs> What's happening? I'm trying to drag her into the water. She doesn't want to come. <sighs> we are fighting for struggle. Mm -hmm. What happens next, Mina? I'm not letting her go. <laughs> Notice what you're thinking about as this is happening. She begs me to let her go. <sighs> we escaped. Big Mama stayed. Mm -hmm. Notice so, what's, ha what's happening. We had a boat. Small boat. Notice what you're feeling. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Mad. I wanted to die there. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. So let's close that scene now. And let's go to the next important scene. As I count from three to one, you'll find yourself there. Three, two, and one. Where are you, Mina? The sky. Mm -hmm. What's happened to your body? I don't have a body. So let's go back to the last moment when you had a body. I want you to go back three, two, and one. In the ship. 
Mm -hmm. Big waves. Cover the boat. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing the wave hitting the boat. What do you think about as this is happening? Peaceful. Mm -hmm. I needed to die with Big Mama. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Notice what happens to your body. Falls what? into the water. Falls into the water. Deep, deep. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice where your, your soul is, your spirit, as your body is going deep into the water. I see my body. Mm -hmm. Floating. In the white dress. Mm -hmm. What do you think about as you're seeing this body floating? She's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Innocent. Mm -hmm. But I feel calm. Mm -hmm. What happens after you leave that body? What happens next? I'm back in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's a huge space. Huge space. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Dark blue. Mm -hmm. Almost black. Are you by yourself there? Yes. Mm -hmm. I cannot see the stars. It just empty space. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to? I'm just floating. Mm -hmm. Allow your, your spirit to drift. Well, let's find out what happens next to it. Where do you go? I fell off the sky. Mm -hmm. I see a tall grass. Mm -hmm. Big flowers. I'm really small. Mm -hmm. Notice what you look like there. Some kind of a bug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Notice what you look like. Look at your feet. How many feet do you have? It's like a snail. Mm -hmm. A snail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm in a hurry. Where is it that you're going? Just running. I'm running really fast. Mm -hmm. How is it that you run? Like pushing myself. Mm -hmm. So notice now where you go to. Where are you in such a hurry to go? See yourself there now. A boy picks me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the boy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the boy now. Very good. And I'm holding the snail in my hand. 
How old are you there? Eight. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Short brown hair. With shorts. Mm -hmm. Barefoot. What do they call you there? Leon. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Leon, let's find out a little bit about your life. I'm going to have you close the scene and go to the place in which you live in that lifetime. Three, two, and one. What is this place? Wooden house. Mm -hmm. I'm running back home. Small wooden house. My mom called me. Beautiful nature. Let's see what happens next. My mom is there. She's kissing me. Mm, look into her eyes, Leon. The eyes of the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? My mom. Mm -hmm. Connect with her now. She's so happy. Mm -hmm. What else do you notice? I'm the only kid. Mm -hmm. How does she, that make you feel? She was worried that I wander by myself mm -hmm. in the woods. But I like being there mm -hmm. with animals. Very good. Notice who else lives there with you, Leon? Anybody else? No. Mm -hmm. Just two of us. Okay. So let's find out a little bit about this life. And I want you to close the scene and go to the next significant event, something that impacts your life. Where are you? I see a really big ship coming towards us. Mm -hmm. Where are you? The same house. Mm -hmm. What does a ship look like? Like a big gondola. Mm -hmm. With soldiers. Mm -hmm. It's like the British. Yes. The British outfit. Mm -hmm. Notice what you're feeling as you're watching this. I said something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. So My close. mom is worried. She's mm -hmm. worried. Mm -hmm. you She's say scared. Okay, so I want you to feel this. As you're watching this, thinking about them coming and feeling, what emotions are coming up? Seeing that your mom is so scared, seeing that this ship is coming towards you. Notice the feelings. I'm wondering why they're coming here. We live so isolated mm -hmm. life. But it's like a conquer. They want to conquer something. They don't care about us. The land, they want the land. 
So now I want you to see how the, they have arrived and what happens when they arrive. I see them, they don't see me. Where are you, Liam? I'm hiding. Mm -hmm. They're all drunk. And they laugh. I need to protect my mom. Mm -hmm. Where is your mom? In the house. Mm -hmm. She's crying. I cannot protect her. All right, so close the scene now. And let's go to the next scene, the one that explains this whole lifetime to you. See yourself there now. What happens? I see it from a from above. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. What has happened to your body? I don't know. Let's go to the last day of that life. Notice where you are. They took me. Mm -hmm. They left my mom. And then what? I'm on the sea again. Mm -hmm. oh. What happens? I don't feel scared. But I don't know why they want me mm -hmm. to be here. I'm inside the boat. Wooden barrel next to me. Mm -hmm. Notice, notice how you're being kept in that room in the ship with the wooden barrel. No food. Mm -hmm. It smells on alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there listening to them laughing. I don't feel afraid. Mm -hmm. So now let's go to the last moment of your life. What happens? I'm a soldier. Mm -hmm. British soldier. On a horse. Mm -hmm. In a battle. I'm holding the flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I died here. Mm -hmm. Someone stabbed me. Notice where they stabbed you? In my heart. Mm -hmm. So as they stab you in the heart, I want you to notice. I want you to go to the moment in which this happens. Feel that stabbing. And notice what you're thinking about when this happens. The heat. Mm -hmm. I feel heat. 
all my spine like burns my head burns and as your whole body is feeling this way and your head is burning what are you what are your emotions i'm proud mhm mm I'm what proud that I died in battle. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. I'm some kind of a commander. Mm -hmm. I'm like a really important person mm -hmm. with a huge hat. And by dying in battle, how does that affect you? Happy. Mm -hmm. My brown horse is on two feet. Mm -hmm. I love that horse. Mm -hmm. So feel what it's like to leave that body. When do you leave that body? I see dead people all around. Mm -hmm. We had a battle with the French, mm -hmm. Napoleon. Mm -hmm. Dead people. And when you see all these dead people, how do you feel? Relieved. Mm -hmm. But proud. Okay, very good. So I want you to go ahead and leave that body. I see and a hand from above. Mm -hmm. Whose hand is that? God's hand. Mm. What do you feel? Welcome home. Mm. So now that you're... White clouds. White clouds, very good. What else do you notice? Car accident. Mm -hmm. I see, I see a picture dying in a car accident. Mm -hmm. I want you to ask about this picture. What is that? I feel pain in mm -hmm. my head. Yes. Probably I died. Mm -hmm. Injuring my head. On the back of my head, I feel like it's something in my head. Mm -hmm. Like a metal thing? Like a metal thing. So I want you to ask about that picture. About that lifetime of dying in a car accident. And I want you to ask that soul that was in that car accident. Is that one of the lifetimes of Martina or somebody else's? Who was in that car accident? I was there as a spirit. Mm -hmm. What were you doing? Were you assisting? Yeah, the kid. Mm -hmm. The kid. Mm -hmm. Notice how you assisted them. He was small. Mm -hmm. He was sitting in the front seat next to his dad. I'm like a Casper. Mm. Like, like a ghost? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when that happens? I was helping him hide. Mm-hmm. He was drunk. 
Hmm? It's like a car in the United States. Yes. 1927. 1927, yes. And I was helping him hide mm -hmm. because I knew something's going to happen. Where was he hiding? Where did you tell him to hide? Up front. Mm -hmm. And who died in that car accident? The dad. Mm. The dad. Mm -hmm. So notice what type of contract you have with this boy. Do you know him? My son. Mm -hmm. I help him. Mm -hmm. The car is smashed. Very good. But he is stuck. What do you do next? I'm helping him. I'm, I'm, oh, I feel dizzy. I'm helping him to get out. I mean, I'm talking to him. He listens to me. What do you tell him? Do not be afraid. Mm hmm Okay, he's out. He's out. Very good. So notice what role you play in this child's life. Assisting. Mm -hmm. He was... He was lonely boy. Mm -hmm. And I was always there for him. Very good. Are you there in the capacity of a guide? Angel. An I see angel. my wings. I see Beautiful. my wings. Beautiful. <sighs> I'm holding his hands. Now he is grown up. Yeah, he's still he's still communicating with me. Mm -hmm. But it's time to go. What happens? He knows, he just let goes. And when he lets go, are you there for him? I just flow away. I don't like, I go somewhere up. Mm -hmm. So your role was only while he was in a body. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So after this role as an angel, I want you to notice what has motivated this angel to come to earth in the life of Martina. To help. Mm -hmm. To show love. Earth, Earth needs love. Martina is feeling sad all the time. She doesn't know where the sadness comes from. <sighs> and as you look at those lifetimes that we just looked at with Big Mama, with Mom, is she carrying some of that sadness within her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Notice he how that sadness is being carried. He remembers. Mm -hmm. He remembers everything. Yes. Notice where that sadness is being held in her body. Big Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama.
I want you to situate yourself in the moment of Big Mama's death once again. And I want you to notice the energy that was exchanged at that time. Did you take some of that sadness from Big Mama? Mm hmm. Yes. Where did you put that sadness? It's all over my body. Mm. It's like a swing. All over your body. And notice how all of this energy is affecting the life of Martina. Like choking. Mm -hmm. If you can give this energy, the sadness of Big Mama, from having to leave you and you leave her. If you could see it with color, with texture, what would this energy look like, feel like? Gray. Mm -hmm. Gray clouds. Gray clouds, very good. So I want you now to connect with Big Mama once again. And I want you to talk to her and tell her how you feel about leaving her. Soul to soul. Thank you. You were always there for me. Mm -hmm. Did you make any vows, any promises to Big Mama as you left her? That I always take care of her. Mm -hmm. So notice how those vows of always taking care of her has been affecting the life of Martina. I remember the smell mm -hmm. of her skin. Mm -hmm. The softness. Yes. She was so loving. And notice what happened as you had to leave Big Mama behind. Notice how your body was affected. Like something was taken out of me. Mm -hmm. And stayed with her. Yes. So notice what that was, that energy that was taken out of you. What was that? Happiness. Mm -hmm. So now that you understand that a soul comes back and when Martina was able to be with his soul once again, you realize that we never die. We just transform. Just like when a... a let's say a butterfly goes from the stage of chrysalis into a butterfly, it seems as if it dies, but it doesn't. Do you realize that all you did was change form? Yeah. Is there any need to have that piece of happiness stay within Big Mama? No, I see a butterfly, mm -hmm. that's her. Mm-hmm. That's her. Very good. So what I'd like for you to do is I want you to extend your arms out and ask Big Mama to give you back your happiness. She's already flying. She's already happy. Go ahead. Put your arms up and tell her, give me back my energy. Give me back my happiness. Give me back my energy. Give me back my happiness. Mm -hmm. And I want you to feel that energy and put it back to where it came from. Put it back in your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice where it is 
that it needs to be placed? In my heart. Mm -hmm. So I want you to put it there. And I want you to fill that space with that love, with that happiness. What color do you use for happiness? What is that? I see white. Beautiful. So I want you to go ahead and place that white into your heart. And I want you to make it as brilliant, as happy, as bright as you can. I want you to make that heart so bright that it feels like it's growing with the light. Just like when the sun makes a plant grow. Yeah. See that heart growing. And just like the heart does, I want you to go ahead and begin to send all of that beautiful happiness out beyond the heart, into the lungs, into the cells, into the bloodstream, affecting every single cell, every fiber of your being. Feel that white, bright happiness flowing. It's almost going to feel almost like seven up as it fizzles, bubbly in happiness. Knowing that you are always with Big Mama. I'm covered with white and gold. Mm-hmm. Like I'm playing. Yes. And now that you're covered with that, can you forgive yourself for giving away something that you needed? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to notice what Big Mama took from you. What energy? She took what else? Yup. Mm-hmm. What else? Just that. Very good. So go ahead and bring that back in. And I know that you took some energy from Big Mama too. Something that kept her from being happy. Notice where in your body you're carrying her energy that doesn't belong to you. What energy was that? In my legs. Mm -hmm. What is that? Heaviness. Mm -hmm. The heaviness. She had big legs. Mm -hmm. So I feel like all my life, heavy legs. Do we need to carry that any longer? No. All right, so I want you to go ahead and you can use your hands if you wish and pull out that heaviness and give it back to Big Mama. That was hers, that wasn't yours. She can transform it. She's a butterfly now. Yeah, it was really sticky. Mm -hmm. So take a look at all of that you've taken out, all that heaviness in your legs. And let's put something in there to lighten up. What would you like to put there instead? You could put flowers. You could put the beautiful waves of the ocean. What would you like to put in, the, in those legs? White light. Beautiful. And what does that represent to you? Angels. Wonderful. So being that you have been an angel, you know what it feels like to put in that energy of angels. So go ahead and fill that space. And tell me when you're done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So as you're doing this, I want you to scan your body now and see if any of that sadness is left there. No. No, very good, very good. So now that the sadness is gone, let's find out a little bit more about what it is that this soul does when Martina sleeps. I'm going to count from five back to one. And I want you to feel yourself going back to one of those moments in time when you were traveling above Manhattan. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. You're there now. I'm over Manhattan. I'm over Manhattan. So I want you to take a moment and just take a look at yourself. What do you look like there as you're traveling over Manhattan? It's a soul. Mm -hmm. It's a soul. And where are you? Now I'm in the ship. Mm -hmm. So I want you to just take a moment and just browse around the ship and tell me what it is that you see. A round ship. It's like a cap capsule. Like a capsule. Mm -hmm. What brown. else is brown? Mm -hmm. Pur purple, brown, red, dark red, brown. Is that on the inside or outside? Outside and mm -hmm. inside. Okay. What else do you notice? It's. It's like my office. Mm -hmm. What does your office have? It's empty except the desk. Mm -hmm. And the big window. Mm -hmm. Describe this for me. What is that big window? Do what do you look at when you're out looking at that window? It's a huge window covered with heavy curtains. Mm -hmm. I need to go. I see Manhattan, but I need to go. Mm -hmm. I have a duty. Yes. I, I need to be somewhere. Okay. So let's find out where it is that you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm flying. It's really fast. Yes. So I'm in the space. I see a huge ship. Huge ship in the shape of like an angel with a wings. Mm -hmm. But it's a ship. What color is that ship? Gray. Mm -hmm. It's gray. What do you sense? I need to work. Mm -hmm. It's like my job. Okay. What happens? I'm coming closer to the ship. I'm getting slower. I park. I 
I feel like this is like a regular job that I'm coming. Yes. I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. So notice what it is that you do at your regular job. I'm going to count from three to one and you'll see yourself doing that job. Three, two, and one. I'm a commander mm -hmm. of the ship. And as the commander of the ship, do you have a body there? Yes. What do you look like? Hmm. Big head. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like gray body. This gray body that you have is a humanoid body? No. No. What does it look like? The grays. Mm -hmm. Three fingers. Three fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you wear any type of uniform when you work? Not now. Not now. Like the human costume, I take it off. Okay. So I see notice other, other, other grays. There's other grays there. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're helping. We are monitoring the earth. Mm-hmm. We are here to help. So as the commander of this ship, what is your job in monitoring and helping the earth? Not to destroy. Do you ever interfere in the lives of the people on earth? No, mm -hmm. they all have free will. Okay, so in helping it not destroy, there are some times when there are bombs, there are wars. Do you have anything to do with that? No. No, very good. So let's find out how it is that you interact with the life of Martina in her human costume. People need to learn about us, mm -hmm. that they're not alone. And they don't need to be afraid. They don't need to be afraid. No. So, this life of Martina, is it the same soul as the life of the commander on the ship? I don't know. Mm. Because I take off the costume. You take the off ship. the costume. Okay, very good. So I want you to notice how many times you do this when Martina sleeps. Well, how often does she go to work on the ship? It's, it's regular. Mm -hmm. That's why she's so tired. Okay. So when you're on the ship, how long is it that you are away? Is it the only time when she sleeps? Or are you able to bend time? Bend time. Mm -hmm. It's so not if the same. It's not the same. So when she goes off on the ship, it could be how long 
in human years? Thousands. Thousands of years. Very good. So if you are able to bend time and go in through thousands of years, can you tell me a little bit about what happens in the future on Earth? Hmm. They want to put technology in everything. Mm -hmm. They want to make robots. Yes. Of humans. How are they doing that? Slavery. Mm -hmm. I see different parts around the earth floating with different species. Mm -hmm. Monitoring the earth. Mm -hmm. These different species, are they from, are they extraterrestrial species or yes. earth species? Okay. So they're around the earth monitoring what's happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The earth is half in dark. And half in light. Can you explain what that darkness means? The energy. Mm -hmm. Thick black energy. But, but the light will win. Mm. But the dark is still here. Okay, so how is it that the light wins? The people will choose light, mm -hmm. but some will choose darkness, to, to be in darkness. Okay. But we're going to be separated. How is it that we separate the humans from the dark to the light? We're going to be on the same planet, mm -hmm. but we cannot see each other. Uh -huh. So is it like a different dimension? It's like a rings. Mm -hmm. that divides the earth. Yes. So the dark is below and the light is above. Wonderful. And the rings, they don't allow to interfere with each other. Mm. Is this concept of the rings separating the dark from the light, what some would call the new earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how is it that we can go from the dark to these light rings? How can a human do that? With love. Mm. Only with love. Only with love. So can you tell me as you're watching the earth progress, how does this love amplify in order for you to go to this, this different ring of light? How can you amplify that? By showing love, mm -hmm. helping, being kind. Yes. And if The people do that, the rings will start like falling apart mm -hmm. because I can see it, how the rings are falling apart. Which rings are, are falling apart? Of the earth. Mm -hmm. They're like loosening up. Mm -hmm. And the light is really bright. Beautiful. So yes. this, this light, does it also affect nature, the trees, the animals, the water, all of the elements? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how that affects it too? Because a tree cannot change into love. They will shine. Mm. They will shine so bright. Like bright colors. Yes. But still, you can see their vibration shining. Yes. So once you move into this different ring, you'll be able to see the earth differently. Is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens to all of those who remain in the dark? Let's say, for example, that you have family members, friends, those who have chosen the dark. You say that they're not going to be in your life anymore. What happens? Emptiness. Mm. No nature. Mm. Everything will be burned. So they will see a different future for the earth. Yes. Okay, very good. So is there anything for us to prepare for ourselves beyond, besides loving that we could do now? Raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. To become one with nature, with Gaia. Okay, very good. Very good. How are we doing as far as time-wise when this is going to happen? It's happening. It's happening. How would one know that they are on that ring? Mm. They will not. They will not know. No. Mm. The humans will become robots. The other humans, the dark ones? Yes. Okay. Is there a way that that is happening now, creating these robots? How are the dark ones creating robots out of humans? Slavery, machines, mm. technology. Everything is disconnected from Gaia. Okay. So the main thing is to be back in nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Martina is living in a place that is basically concrete, except for her rivers nearby, the river nearby. What do you tell Martina about how she can connect with nature, with Gaia? To be in nature. Mm -hmm. She likes nature. Mm -hmm. So even if you're living in a big city with lots of concrete, you could still be yes. in nature. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest for you to amplify the connection with nature? For example, right now, there's a lot of snow, a lot of storms, a lot of cold, where nature is frozen. How do you bring nature to you when that happens? She knows. She knows. Mm -hmm. She breathes the cold air, mm -hmm. it helps her. Wonderful. So you, she uses the element of, of air to yes. bring it in. Wonderful, very good. Is there anything else that you can tell Martina about what her job as commander, how it's affecting her? She said yes to that. Mm -hmm. She met them in her dream. Mm -hmm. People were running in nature. They mm -hmm. were coming out of water. Yes. <sighs> so she, she tried to explain the humans not to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. They come here in peace. When did she see these humans coming out of the water? The grays. Mm, oh, the grays. Mm -hmm. The grays coming from the water. Okay. And she was trying to explain them not to run, to meet them. 
Mm -hmm. But they were so afraid they were not ready. What lifetime was this? It was a dream. Mm, okay. Very good. Is there any, any other information about that? The humans are not ready. Mm -hmm. And she's so sad. Is that some of the sadness that she carries? Yes. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just transform that sadness into motivation? <laughs> Motivating her to do everything she can to send that love out, to accelerate the process because she has seen how large her soul truly is. Yes, she is so powerful. Mm -hmm. That's why so, we chose her. Right, so let's activate that now within her. So rather than focusing on the sadness, let's focus on the power that's within her. And let's amplify that. She's done that before with me. Amplify that light within the heart. Transforming any sadness into that power. She transforms an angel right away. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <sighs> Wonderful. So just bask in that love right now. And you could expand those angel wings and just cover the earth. Sending every human that is ready to receive that love. Activating within their own heart that love, that remembering of who they truly are. Yeah, it's helping. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So now let's disconnect from this life. And we're going to go back to find the lifetime associated with Lemuria. I'm going to count from five to one. And I want you to locate Lemuria. Five. Going through time and space now to that lifetime. Four. Locating it. Three. Two. And one. You're there now. Big mountain. Mm -hmm. A big mountain. Tell me more. Really high vibrations. Mm -hmm. I want you to expand your awareness and notice everything around you. gold vibrations mm -hmm. like a swimming in a gold vibrations wonderful and as you're swimming in that golden vibration notice if you have a body there it's human but different mm -hmm. how is it different It reminds me of the grace, but it's different. Mm -hmm. Are you larger, smaller? With big head again. Mm -hmm. What's the shape of your head? Hmm. Smaller at the face and bigger where the brain is. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. So notice how you look. Look at the rest of your body, your hands, your arms, your legs. 
folder. Like a wise old man. A wise old man. How are you dressed? I don't have anything on me. Okay, very good. And notice what it is that you do there as this wise old man in this golden vibration. Helping mm -hmm. the young people. How do you help them? Advise them. We are all very old in the, our bodies. Mm -hmm. How old would you say you are? 103. Mm -hmm. But I see only showing directions mm -hmm. to the younger ones. Okay, very good. So let's find out what happens, what it is that's so important about this lifetime that is being carried now by Martina. I want you to now go to the next scene that explains that life and why Martina needs to know about it. Is something in the earth, mm -hmm. maybe under the mountain? Yes. Like a huge crystal. Do you know about this crystal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find that crystal now. Notice where it is. Mm -hmm. She bought it. Mm -hmm. Gray color, gray white. Yes. She has it in her home. Mm -hmm. We are the keepers of it. Wonderful. And what is within that crystal? Life source. Mm -hmm. Like a so, charger to, to Gaia. Okay. So what is it sh that she should do with this crystal to charge Gaia? She gives power to the crystal. Mm hmm she knows how to use it. Wonderful. So what can she do now moving forward? She needs to help people open mm -hmm. their eyes. Okay. And how is it that she's going to do that? Because she's been doing one type of job and now She's looking for another way to help people. What can she be doing to help people? Mm, crystals, but that oh. specific one. Okay. So she needs to work with that crystal. Yes. Good. Are there any other divine beings that are assisting her in this lifetime? God. Mm -hmm. She's connected with God. Beautiful. Directly. Very good. Now I know that in one dream she connected with Holy Mother when she was very mad. What connection does she have with Holy Mother? She was mad at her mm -hmm. because she doesn't know who she is, mm -hmm. how powerful she is. She doesn't need to do anything, anything physically. Mm -hmm. She just needs to use her power to save more people. Wonderful. So it's basically that same angel power, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she knows how to do it. She doesn't have to do anything. She just has to be 
Martina. Yes, mm -hmm. meditation. Meditation. Not just meditation, even in everyday life, she just needs to close her eyes. She knows. Mm -hmm. She's so powerful. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this thing that she's been searching for her entire life, the meaning of life, why she was here. It seems that we we now understand. Yeah, she looks that from human perspective. Mm -hmm. But she needs to learn that that's not the path for her. Mm -hmm. Are there any skills that she should develop besides the meditation? She needs to travel. Mm -hmm. She needs to go on specific spots mm -hmm. to charge herself. That is really important. Mm -hmm. And many people will follow her. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and show Martina the globe. And show her the points on the globe as a glowing light, where it is that she recharges herself. Where are these places? Hmm. She needs to help America. Hmm. That's why she's here now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that why she's in Manhattan? Yes. Mm -hmm. She needs to be there. Good. Yeah, she needs to shine mm -hmm. over America and Canada. Wonderful. Does she do this in her meditative state or in dream state? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. So before she goes to sleep, is there any intention she needs to set before she, she goes off on her travels? She needs to rest. Mm -hmm. She needs more rest. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you give her in order for her to rest? She needs more time for herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And she understands where she needs to go to get recharged and rest. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now, I know that she smells a lot of things in her dreams, like incense. She's around, she was around someone who had a very um, interesting experience. Why has she been brought to all of these experiences? She's receiving the knowledge mm -hmm. okay. through senses. She can smell danger. Okay. So when, it. so when she smells, for example, incense or smoke. Yes. What does that tell her? Where to look. Mm -hmm. What to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sense is very developed. Wonderful. Is this a sense that's been developed only in this lifetime or at other lifetimes? Lemurians. Lemurians. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Is there anything else that you would like to address today with Martina? Or do you feel that we've covered everything that she wanted today? She feels satisfied. Wonderful. Very good. And I'd like to ask, who is the one who is assisting us here today with this session? Why? It starts on why. Mm -hmm. York. York. Mm -hmm. York. York is... York a guide? Yes. 
Very good. So thank you, Yerk, for this information. Alert, feeling wonderful and what I'm all over. Ooh. Welcome back. Wow. Wow. How was that for you? <sighs> Roller coaster. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Like make I was frozen. Sense? Yeah. And you were someone, frozen? El someone else was talking. <laughs> I was not talking. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was your like, mouth what? and your words. <laughs> Oh my God. Like I was possessed maybe. I don't know. Like, oh, you were I, possessed. You were just bringing out a different, a different version of yourself. That's all. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was so like, I could feel everything. I could see everything. I could like sense. Mm -hmm. Oof. Now, Martina, you've been hypnotized by me before at the gathering and i know that you were able to experience stuff how was this one different for you mm, i was in it mm. mm -hmm. like the previous time like the group session i was watching it you know like from side yeah but now you're in it and you feel everything like mm -hmm. you cannot fake it you cannot control it it's like it's it's powerful yeah. And you just see images like you don't choose. Mm -hmm. And it takes you where you need to go, where you need to see. Yeah. Did it go fast for you? Yes. So oh, how long God. do you think it was? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay. Yes. So let's see if my clock will show up. Wow. No. <laughs> now, so it was about an hour and 30 minutes. So it felt really fast then. Yeah. Like 15 minutes, something like, yeah. So when you were coming out, you were probably saying, why, <laughs> why are we stopping so quickly? <laughs> I couldn't move. Mm. I couldn't move. Like I was yeah. frozen. That's and amazing. So, yeah. You did great. You did fantastic. So is this I, something you want to share with other people? Because this is quite an experience. Oh, they need to try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, it opens new doors for you. Yeah. Do you want to share the video? Yes. If uh, like nothing personal, I don't think nothing personal. Well, it was, it was important to know about the, the earth. Yes. Yes. I can see still the image. Mm -hmm. It was like rings. Yeah. It's like a Saturn. Yes. But they were like so tight. Mm. But if we, you know, like use more love, more kindness, yeah. it will fall off. It's like a chains to the earth. So she's like trying, she's fighting. So she's bound yes. by these rings. Half, and these rings, half. half of her is bound. And that's half. the darkness that, that has her. And when yes. you were seeing that people were being created into these robots, what were you noticing that they were using to do mm. this? No souls, mm. no souls at all. Like yeah. it was really sad. Yeah just you know just doing what they're supposed to do what they were told to do yeah so obeying <laughs> obeying yeah like 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 i saw like metal the material mm -hmm. metal everywhere like wow. buildings like no n no nature at all wow like concrete and metals wow so it's almost like robotic soldiers just just uh, being used for labor or whatever they needed yeah wow so we need to connect with nature a lot more yes. and uh, bring nature into our homes and and really how like when the vibration goes up like mm -hmm. you can see the nature is changing it's healing yeah like if you go in nature you want to heal your body yes. Yes. like if you're sick yes you will heal because the vibration of the trees that I saw on um, the ground, the earth, it was glowing. Beautiful. That's beautiful. You're just like walking in like a, I don't know, a healing room. Like it heals. Yes. Wow. That's great. Yeah. That's we fabulous. We focus more on, on yeah. Mm. Natural materials. 
natural materials like we need to use more so no using synthetics getting more into cotton and linens and things like that in order to have the fibers of the earth on us yes mm -hmm. yes bamboos i saw like a lot of bamboos a lot what of bamboo. we can do with bamboos like what can we build with bamboos beautiful well this they're making bamboo floors now so and a lot of people have granite in their house and granite is bringing nature into your home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. Do you recommend this experience to other people? Of course. Yeah. Like, with all my heart. And you, you went to the gathering. Do you think that that was worthwhile? Yes. Like a preparation for this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Because at least you were, you, cause when you said you were used to my voice already and um, yes. And everything. Like everything is like fam familiar. Yeah. And you feel like home. Yes. Um, yeah. Like, I like your voice. It's so powerful. Um, so, you know, like just you are getting used to it. Yes. Yes. Good. So it's it's nice at the beginning to see it from a side, you mm -hmm. know, more to observe the yes. pictures. Like you learn to see the pictures. To see well, some the, people, to some see people are, yeah. Well, some people are not visual. They just feel it. So it's, you know, it's different for everybody, but you use a lot of your senses. I mean, your nose and everything. Yeah. And now like this time was, it was more personal. It was more deeper than that. Yeah. Yeah. So I would ever like, I would recommend first to do the group session and then this. Beautiful. Wonderful. Do you think that we covered everything that we needed to cover today? Yes. Yes. I think you Amazing. get a different insight. Yeah. If you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. You have to sign up for the newsletter, just like Martina did. And uh, in that newsletter, you have events, you have frequency sessions, and you have hypnosis sessions. And just uh, keep trying. Martina, how long did it take you? A few tries? I started from July, mm -hmm. but then I quit. <laughs> you gave and up. Then I start, yeah, and then I started uh, October. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So when it's your turn, it'll happen. So just uh, connect with my newsletter. And uh, when it's your time, it's your time. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And until the next time, much love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.